Welcome back to the One API channel. In the previous video, we've seen how to detect which platforms exist in my system and which devices are there in each platform. But how do you actually submit and execute work on these devices? How do you exchange data so the host and the device can see the same data or the same memory space? In the previous video, we chose the device we'd like to use and assigned a queue to this device using a predefined selector, for example, a host selector or a GPU selector. And you can even build a custom selector. So let's just take a queue. Just give me the default device. And now I can submit work to this queue. I'm getting a handler, which I call it here H. But what I want to do is to manipulate data I need data structures or memory accesses that are coherent to the device and the host. There are several ways to exchange data between devices in SQL. Assigning a buffer is one way. Here, we construct a buffer called A of 10 integers. This buffer is still in the host memory and it will be shared with the device only per need. And we got an accessor to buffer A with the handler H. Accessor can be write-only, read-only, and other types. I don't specify the mode, so the default is read-write. And now we're using the handler to dispatch some work. Here, it is a single task, so only a single instance of this function will be executed on the device. I'll show you in a minute how to run multiple parallel tasks. And I'm doing something. Here I'm assigning five to the accessor's third entry. This line will be executed on the device. Now we need to copy back the buffer A from the device to the host. I copied it to an array called result. And we're all done. Let's see it in action. So I'm using SQL. I have a queue. A is a buffer of 10 integers. And I submit this to the queue. A accessor will access buffer A on H handler for write only. And I'm submitting a single task that will assign five to the third entry of A. And here I copy the A buffer back to the host into result. And I just print the results and I'm getting the results. Only the third entry is five. Okay, we got heterogeneous programming. Most of the code executed on the host and some is offloaded to the device. Now, let's make it a little bit more interesting. After all, we are talking about heterogeneous and parallel computing. Let's define a range. A is still a buffer of range, meaning of 10 integers. A accessor is still accessing A, but instead of a single task, where only a single execution is done on the device, we will run parallel four. So every iteration of this lambda function could be run in parallel. We need to specify the range and we also need the index of the item. And let's do something more interesting. Each entry will have the index number. Copy the result back to the host and print it out. And yes, we're getting the expected result. Each of the iterations of the lambda function ran independently in parallel and could easily be run on any device. So heterogeneous and parallel and portable. So choose a device, construct a queue, use buffers to exchange data and submit work to the device. There are of course many other things to talk about and we'll do that in the next video.